Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure Jenkins on Windows Server 2022. Go to Jenkins official website that is Jenkins.io. Click on documentation, then click on installing Jenkins. Then select the Windows. See here the prerequisites are minimum 256 and recommended is 4 GB RAM and 1 GB drive space or 50 GB drive space. Okay. And other software require and software requirements are Java. If you click go to Java, see the supported Java versions are 11, 17, or 21 for the latest version. Okay, so I have already installed Java. If you want to install Java, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Okay, open the command prompt and let us verify Java hyphen hyphen version. See, I have installed Java 21. See, Java 21 is supported. Okay, now go back. Web browser, we have the web browser, Windows operating, and everything is fine. Now, on all match, download the Jenkins. Click on download. See here, we have the two versions, stable and weekly releases. So, we have to select the stable version. Scroll down. See here, stable version at the time of making this video is 2.42. So, Click on Windows. Wait, download is going to start. See here, download has been started. Go to Downloads. See, its a size is 95 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See, download is completed. Now go to Downloads or click on Jenkins to install. Click on Next. See, this will be the installation directly. If you want to change, you can click on the change button. Otherwise, click on next. Here, we have to select the logon type. I am going with login as local account. If you want domain, you have to provide account and password information. Okay, then click on next. This will be the port. Okay, test the port. Is it available or not? It is available. So, click on next. See, Java setup. Okay, so it is taking the existing Java. So, click on next, firewall exceptions allow, then click on next, see ready to install, so click on install. See, we have successfully installed Jenkins 2.452, click on finish, now open browser, then new tab, then go to localhost 8080, hit enter. See, we have to provide the administrator password. So, to get it, we have to go to this path, copy it, paste it, hit enter. See, here in this file, we have the password. Right click, open with, select notepad, click on OK. See, this is the password, copy entire string, then go to browser. Paste it, click on continue. Never. Now click on install suggested plugins. Click on it. See, it is going to install these plugins. Okay, this may take time. I am pausing this video until this plugins installation completes. Once installation done, you have to remove this one. Now go to downloads directory. Downloads. See, remove it or delete it. Create first admin user. So, I am giving admin user name as r 2 so You can give whatever you like. Then provide the password for this admin user. It is not mandatory. Or else we can click on skip and continue. But, I am giving the admin name. Then provide the full name. r 2 Then provide the email address. Then click on save and continue. See, this is the URL. Okay, if you want customize, you can customize. Otherwise, this is the URL. Then click on save and finish. Now click on start using Jenkins. See, this is the Jenkins dashboard. If 
you want to create new item you have to click on here if you want to manage jenkins click on manage jenkins if you want to add or remove plugins click on plugins available plugins see these are the available plugins and install plugins see these are the installed plugins okay if you want available plugins if you want to install them suppose if you want to install this one select it and click on install if you want select see install is grayed out okay if you want to uninstall the existing ones or the installed ones you have to select plugin and uninstall advanced settings I'm not going to change anything updates no updates are there again if you want to go back to dashboard click on dashboard if you want to see build history you have to click on click on here if you want to create new item click on new item then you have to select the item i'm not going to do anything click on configure if you want to change the password here we have to provide the new password then we have to click on save and this these are the themes okay if you want to select dark default this is the default one if you want dark See, team has been changed. If you want to change the default, say, and if you want to change the time zone, you have to set, change here. Then you have to click on apply. Okay. So, go back to dashboard. Click, click on leave. Now, we will see how to stop, start, and restart Jenkins on Windows Server. Open services. Press J to go to services. See here we have the Jenkins. It is started and running. Let us stop it by clicking on the stop link or right click and select the stop or select the service and click on stop. All three are same. If you stop, if you reload, this page won't work. Okay, let us stop it. Click, click on stop. See, we have successfully stopped. Jenkins service. Now if you try to lead, reload this page, it won't work. Click on it. See, this page cannot be reached. Why? Because Jenkins is stopped. So, right click on it. Again, start it. Now, reload this page. See, now it is working, but it may take time to load the login page. Okay, see, we are able to log in. We have successfully logged in. Now, go to services. If you want to restart, restart it. First, it will stop the service and it starts again. Okay, see, we have successfully restarted. If you go to here and reload, this time it won't ask us to log in again. Okay. So in this video we have seen how to download, install and configure Jenkins on Windows Server 2022. For more videos please subscribe my channel.